last year, the number was 30. Now at five, changes are coming to the city of Milwaukee's Fire and Police Commission after two of its top members announced they will resign. They are stepping down to protest restrictions placed on the commission's authority by the state's Shared Revenue Plan, or Act 12. Here's investigative reporter Sean Gallagher. For about the last two years, Ed Falone and Amanda Avalo served as the chair and vice chair of the Fire and Police Commission, bringing a stability to the commission that we hadn't seen in years. So Thursday morning when we received this seven page joint resignation letter, it came as a surprise to us, but not the man who appointed them. I don't think that I'm necessarily surprised that you saw uh, a resignation or two that came out of this. Mayor Cavalier Johnson says because of Act 12, this is not what they signed up for. When those commissioners came on board, uh, they came on board knowing that there were these specific powers. This, this is what their duties were, and that changed. Act 12 will bring much needed fiscal relief to the city of Milwaukee, but the fine print shows some changes that Falone and Avalos don't agree with. Before, the FPC could implement policy changes to the police and fire departments. Now, those powers sit with Fire Chief Aaron Lipsky and Police Chief Jeffrey Norman. Chief, how are you uh, preparing for the changes with the FPC that are coming? Working with them. That's how. The chief of both departments should be studying this policy. I spoke with retired officer and former FPC commissioner Ray Robokowski over the phone. He feels the FPC will still adequately bring the voice of the people to oversee police and fire, but thinks certain decisions should be left to those with the badge. I think they were under the impression that they had total power over the fire department and the police department. And for them to be setting policies that they have no clue about, it's not a good thing. I asked Mayor Johnson what's next. He said he expects something to be done at tonight's meeting to appoint the next chair and vice chair. And then he needs to find two new commissioners to nominate. Because Ed Falone and Amanda Avalos' resignations don't take effect until midnight, they both should be at tonight's meeting for the last time. Reporting for the I-Team, I'm Sean Gallagher.